Welcome to the Beer Search Party. This is Sean Inman with you. And today we are going to review Terrapin Side Project number seven, volume number seven, Maggie's Farmhouse Ale. Now, the Terrapin people over in Maryland, obviously, because of the Terrapins, uh, they do special uh, side projects, like the label says, uh, of stuff that's out of the ordinary, unusual stuff that they've always wanted to try to do, uh, and just little larks that they want to do that they can't usually do with the uh, normal uh, brewing operations that they have there. I uh, purchased this bottle via a auction at online with Liquid Solutions up in Oregon. They auctioned off uh, three different uh, bottles this lovely one right here, if I could spit the words out. Uh, they also did a uh, shorts brewing porter and then the piece de resistance, the one that I could not afford to even think about uh, putting a bid down on, was three years of Three Floyd's Dark Lord. I believe it was uh, 06, 07, and 08. Uh, that got pretty pricey pretty quick. But this is a lovely consolation prize, and in fact, since I'm not the biggest dark beer fan, this is actually probably better for me. I like me my farmhouse ales. Uh, so let's take a look at what a beer from Maryland is. I think this is the first Maryland beer reviewed on camera. So that's got a definite bright yellow-orange tint. Uh, very, it is pretty hazy. It's pretty opaque. So that's, I was expecting a little more cloudy for a saison or a farmhouse, but ah oh well. So let's take a sniff. Oh yeah, it's definitely got a sour tint to it. You can smell that Belgian yeast. Yeah, slightly sour. I said this is made with barley, wheat, rye, and oats. So they went with the whole the whole grain method. Oh, that's pretty refreshing. It's it it smells a little sour and it has a little bit of sour, but it's not a sour beer. Um as you can see, the head went down pretty quickly. There's only a minuscule amount of lacing that's disappearing pretty quickly. Um, now that, that's a, right up there is a Saison. That's not, not bad at all. And actually the label says they're from Athens, Georgia, so I apologize. I just assumed that if it had a Terrapin that it was Maryland. Either way, I haven't reviewed a uh, Georgia beer either on video, so. No, it's interesting. It's It's got a little acidity to it, uh, the sour. Um, not getting too much spice. Um, no, it it's pretty, pretty clean. Uh, there's not, it, it's not a super complex uh, style, for sure, but, I mean, this is, pretty much what you would get as a farmhouse saison. This is pretty much spot on style wise. Yeah, this would be very good with um, like a light chicken, something done with maybe like rosemary or uh, some other herbs like pr herbs de Provence or something like that. Uh, it'd also probably go really well with uh, whitefish. Um, this is pretty nice. It, it's, uh, like I said, it's not complex, but I mean, it pretty much hits the style spot on. So there you go. The Terrapin Brewing Side Project, Volume 7, Maggie's Farmhouse Ale. Uh, this is a one-time release, so I don't know if there's any more out there. But you should definitely try out uh, some of the other Terrapin beers. They usually get really good reviews, and they're usually uh, pretty... Uh, they're one of those places that people talk about. So if you can, get your hands on some uh, beer from Terrapin. Thank you very much for watching. This is Sean Inman, the Beer Search Party, and cheers.